Hey, what's up? My name is Mike, and in this video, we're talking about the very best Bluetooth speakers, the best Bluetooth speakers. I have a couple of them behind me, and these speakers, I love, I love sound, I love music, I love Bluetooth speakers, but I don't wanna rank these like one through five because everybody uses them for completely different things. They're also very different prices, so instead, I wanna break them down by category. So I'll have timestamps like down on the bottom of the video. You can check out different categories, jump around, whatever you wanna do. But let's start off with the very first one, the best sounding. And again, this is a little bit subjective. Everyone has different music styles, different ear geometry, different places they listen to music. But in general, the one that I find has the least distortion, overall the best sound, surprisingly loud for its side as well, this is none other than the Bose SoundLink Flex. So don't be fooled by the sort of two-dimensional shape. Unlike a lot of other speakers this size, which are just total cylinders, this one has a larger face on there. It still stands up perfectly fine. Uh, it's still very portable. It's still IP67 water resistant. And unlike a lot of the other ones, which are just really warm and kind of just like a bass heavy, muddy experience, this one is really well balanced. It's no surprise being made by Bose. And on top of that, you're getting really good clarity, really good detail across the entire spectrum. And like I said before, most importantly, it doesn't distort when you turn it up to louder volume. So it is surprisingly loud for its size. And even at the higher volumes, you're still getting a great experience. It comes in four different colors. I really like this red. I think this is like a limited edition one, but I'll have it linked below if you guys wanna check out this one in particular. This also has 12 hours of battery, which is not exactly industry leading, but is more than enough for me. It pairs with other Bose speakers. So I would say this is perfect for like casual listening around the house. Maybe if you were going to a cabin, small boat party, if you're doing like a river float, any situation where it's like a smaller group of people, you don't need like a mega speaker like that one and you want the best sound quality, that's exactly what this is going to be. And, and notice I mentioned like a boat and a river trip. Not only is this water resistant, waterproof actually, but it also floats. So if you drop it in the river, you're not gonna lose uh, your somewhat expensive speaker. But let's say that you want something a little bit louder than that, maybe for like a home gym, pick up basketball game, maybe just an extra speaker for like a smart TV or projector, home office, something like that. Uh, then the next one on this list is the best midsize, so a slightly larger speaker, which I'm actually gonna say is the Sony XG300. That's this one right here. Definitely, as you can see, a, a good bit larger than that Bose one. And this is interesting because Sony actually really focused on, on this one to have better microphones on board as well, which makes it also a viable option for meeting rooms if you have more people or just for your own home office, because this does have you know some better microphones with echo cancellation on them. It's also IP67 again. It links with other Sony speakers. So if you have like either of these two right here, these little, little Pentagon shaped guys, or yeah, Pentagon shaped ones, you can link with those or other XG300s. You know, a lot of these speakers link with their own brand, no surprise. Sony does have a built-in handle on the top, so that's really cool, really convenient. I like the design, like the overall fabric look of this. And of course we have lights on the side, kind of a ring around the outside there. And in general, it's a little bit more bass heavy than I would like for a speaker, but gets very loud. And I think it's a solid, a solid speaker there. And now before we get into the next one, just a little PSA from me. Uh, I love Bluetooth speakers, right? Like I love using them pretty much anywhere, but please, please do not use Bluetooth speakers when you're on a hike or in any other place where people might be trying to enjoy the peace of nature. But speaking of being quiet, the total opposite of that, probably the loudest speaker I have behind me, the Anchor Soundcore Rave Party 2. This is what I'm rating for the best for parties for several reasons. That's this one right here that's been making the fun colors this entire video. This is a fantastic speaker, just so fun to use around the house and especially for parties for several great reasons. First of all, of course, it does connect to on other Anchor speakers. So like this is an Anchor speaker down here and I have two of those and I have one of this. They're just around my house and it just it's so fun to have loud music in every single room, synchronized. I mean, a lot of speakers, like I said, do that, but a big benefit here. It also has obviously some great lights on there. Uh, it'll go with the music. Right now I have the music muted, but if I turn some music up, it jumps around as you would expect. It's also a really solid build. It's really a heavy speaker. It's a 120 watt output, so it definitely gets really loud. And even considering that, you're getting up to 16 hours of battery. So on the front, we have the branding and you can see it's kind of outlining where the speakers are within there. On the top, we have our controls so you can boost the bass, you can turn the lights on and off, go to enable the party link, Bluetooth, power, and of course volume. 
But on the back, if we turn it around, you'll see we have this little flap right here, and in there, we've got some dials. So we've got the reverb, uh, of course, the gain and the volume. And on top of that, below, we have a couple ports here. So we have a DC in, so you can charge this and power it in, power it on. Uh, we also have an aux port. We've got USB type A to charge your phone off of this. And we actually have a microphone port, which is another reason that this would be great for a party if you're trying to, like, I don't know, make an announcement or just straight up karaoke it. That's a great option there. Of course, on the bottom, we've got our nice opening. And like I said, a heavy speaker, great lighting, works in vertical or horizontal orientation. And so it just makes it like a really solid speaker for an indoor or an outdoor party. Like, such an easy bet for me. Next up, we've got kind of the opposite side of that. This is the biggest speaker. Let's talk about the smallest speaker I'm gonna show you in this video. Best if you're on a budget is this little guy right here. Now, even though this is way, way smaller than the Rave Party 2, the Tribit X Sound Mega is the best budget speaker in my opinion. This is selling for $36, despite being a pretty high quality speaker with some nice features. So IP67 water resistant again, which makes it great if you're going on a river float or if you're just out in the rain, whatever it is, you don't have to worry about that. One of the best features about this though is not only is it a really nice little compact shape, but on the back we have a strap that is a rubber strap so it can flex and go around handlebars on a bicycle for example, or the strap on a backpack, or really any other mounting location. And it'll give you a nice way to hold the speaker in place so you can listen to music when you're in any environment that otherwise might not have a good spot to set your speaker because you'd maybe be worried about it falling or something like that. It does have a little bit more of a warmer, bassy signature, but considering the size, that's kind of what you want for this. Um, really, like I said, for $36, it's hard to beat a speaker like the Tribit right here. And as a side note, if you're new here and you're enjoying this video, please do click that subscribe button. I have a lot of other videos about headphones, earbuds, and speakers coming out in the near future. Now, the next category, I wanted to call it the best overall, but there's always like bigger, louder, and better sounding speakers for way more money, like up to thousands of dollars. So it's kind of hard to say like it's the best overall because you can always find something better, but most people don't want like a 40 pound speaker that you need to plug into the wall. So for most people, this would be the best in most situations. It's loud enough, great sound, nice features, a little bit cheaper than the Sony I mentioned earlier, and in general, just a solid all around speaker. The best for most situations, in my opinion, is the JBL Extreme 3. Now the JBL Extreme 3, again, IP67 water resistant, slightly more balanced with better EQ, less warm, in my opinion, than the Sony, like I said before, 15 hours of battery. Of course, it does connect to other JBL speakers with their party boost, uh, and it comes with a strap on the top. A really solid build, plenty of different colors, and like I said, just a really solid all-around speaker that I would love to use for like pickup basketball, volleyball outside, a yard party, indoors, like anywhere you go. This is small enough that it could fit in a backpack. It has a strap, you can carry it around, so it's not massive, but you're still getting a really big sound out of this that gives you a very capable bass, and just, like I said, it's really useful in pretty much any situation. But the final category in this video is actually slightly different. This is the best portable smart speaker. So if you wanna have like a Bluetooth speaker, but you also wanna have uh, maybe a Google Home or an, uh, an Amazon Echo at your house, you could have like a two for one where you have a speaker that sits on a little dock and then when you wanna use it, you just pick it up, it's already fully charged, and it's ready to go. It's a Wi-Fi or Bluetooth speaker. The winner for this category, in my opinion, is the Bose Portable Smart Speaker. That's the name of it, the Bose Portable Smart Speaker. It has a cradle, like you can get a good wireless cradle that it sits on like four little pegs, and that'll charge it up. There are two different colors available, and the reason I really like this one is it has like a 360 sound projection because of the bottom firing speaker. So there's a little cone on the bottom, goes in any direction. Great for filling a room, like a really good spatial uh, experience there. It also works with Apple AirPlay 2, as well as Google Assistant or Amazon Alex. I don't want to trigger his at home, but you know who I'm talking about. Like I said, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity. The Google Assistant, I mean, I have like Google Home, so it is a little bit slower because it's not doing the onboard processing that a lot of the new Google Nest products do, but all things considered, it's fast enough for most questions I ask it, and it has way better sound quality, in my opinion. And of course, the benefit over, say, a Google Nest is you can take it anywhere, it has a battery built in, and it connects by Bluetooth to your phone to have a great sounding experience anywhere else you go. So those are my picks for the best Bluetooth speakers. Of course, there are so many different Bluetooth speakers out there. If I didn't name your favorite, be sure to leave a comment down below. 
I'm excited to see what you guys like as far as speakers go and which of these you think was most interesting. If you enjoyed the video, consider liking and subscribing. I'm Michael Bryan. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.